a wall extension. I'm behind the trees right now. This section is going to be kind of tough to get to, but it's going to be vertical. Only 18 inches high. It does have a rounded top on this thing, so we're going to have to be bracing it down on the front of the wall. I already discussed that with her. And for this last 10 foot section, we could potentially just build this and then set it in place. Potentially also want to do their side one color, her side another color. The whole thing's about 49 feet. Back here, we shouldn't have a problem getting to it. It's a little bit tight. This tree might need to be trimmed back just a little bit. I'll let her know about that. But the rest of it's all exposed here and it's no big deal. This is a steel frame here for the gate. So we potentially might want to replace these boards, make them a little tighter. There's one little problem area right there, but it's not a big deal. We can anchor it right there in the corner and uh, shouldn't be a problem to brace everything. I told her we'd have anchors like every, I don't know, 15 feet going all the way across. So maybe five anchors going all the way. I'm not sure about this back wall here, but probably she wants to do this. This one's a lot easier to get to. So for this one area here with the tree, but that's totally doable. Luckily this one's flat back here, flat top. We'll get the measurements in a second put it inside of Evernote. Check out this crazy succulent here. Thing is super tall. Yeah, it's a cool yard. And then potentially doing another wall extension here. Removal of the barbed wire would be good. So it goes all the way back. There's one more section back here. It's kind of tight, but it's still totally doable. We'll have somebody else remove that. This is a, another section in the back that might need to be taken care of. Looks like it would be. So this is the spot. This is Natalie Spencer.